Hello guys, Mr. Fury AC Night Cool here. Back with some Red Fog gameplay. We're gonna play like a new game. Um, I did play this last night, got Layla up to level six, but we wanna see like the new Red Fog experience for people who just playing this and you know I've seen this game get a lot of hate. This game is like Dishonored and sort of like Fallout, but with vampires and you sort of have to find the materials. A lot of people kind of don't necessarily understand it. Everybody's all about graphics these days. Eventually, they will upgrade it and they will fix and address the issues for this game. So we're not here about this on this channel. We just want to hear and play, play and see me play this game. But anyway, um, I'm gonna basically uh, so create a new hero. My hero was Leia. But for this channel, I'm going to do like a new hero. So here we got Jacob Boyer. Um, he's got the Raven. He's got Cloak. He's got this thing called Hot Stop. I mean, the Heart Stopper. He's the Dead Eye with the Undead Eye, which is pretty cool. Leia is the Telekinesis Threat. She's a, basically a telekinesis. She can summon characters. Um, she's got this umbrella. Pretty cool. Uh, I did play with her. Um, and then you got this character who's sort of like uh, a crypto hunter. Um, pretty cool character. And you got Remy. Uh, Remy is, what is Remy? It's more like a stealth character. Let's see. She creates rally points, so she's more like a buffer. So Remy is sort of like a siren type character. But I'm going to go with this dude right here. Because um, I know a lot of people play it with Jacob. Um, I'm going to go with this guy right here. I'm going to create a new hero. And we're gonna start in Redfall. So this is what you see. Uh, location, level one. Um, this game is almost like State of Decay, kinda. Um, kinda like State of Decay, kinda like Dishonored, kinda like Fallout. Cause you gotta find your materials. So we're gonna play this and you're probably gonna hear the storyline and everything about this woman. So I played a little bit. So I'm gonna let the dialogue talk. Was my fault. I think it used to be a nice town. When I first got here, I thought I could help. Okay. They said one drop of my blood could change everything. Free people from sickness. Maybe from death. A world where nobody was left oh, out. I gotta look at something Cups real quick, guys. Rivers of living water. I was a fool. They were monsters. Okay. They took more <laughs> than a drop. They took everything. Ugh. Now, something evil is swallowing up this place bit by bit. When the people here realized what was going on, it was already too late. Yeah. Folks are at each other's throats, begging the monsters to spare them. Some are just hiding, scared, waiting for a rescue that ain't coming. She got shotgun, yo. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Some tried to get away. But the monsters who started all this weren't having it. There's nowhere to go. Nobody ever believes things can get this bad. Mm. Until it happens. Then, it's too late. <laughs> but, there are people who can fight back. I think, they can save this place. There's just one thing standing in their way. Look at the vampires. A whole town full 
of vampires. Mm. That's scary. So we're gonna see this intro of this game. Why is he feeding like that? Yeah. So this is kind of like the like the, it has like a dishonor style um, art style to it, and it's man they're enjoying killing, ugh, vampire breaking blood. Ugh. And he's just laughing. They got some big hands, yeah. Sure Them hands kind of look like mine. <laughs> kind of look like mine, though. Look how my hands look. <laughs> Just like my hands. Why that vampire got a glowing halo and she can't go out in the sunlight? That doesn't make any sense, but, you know, it's redfall. Maybe it's like glow lights or something, you know? She got, she got long fingers. You can't walk away from me. No one can. She's name is the Black you Sun. You all belong to us. The others want you dead. But I want you here. Alive. I can use you. Obviously, that must be like the little halo must be some type of glow lights because she can't go out in the sun. You will never see the sun again. I will see the sun because I'm a vampire hunter. Like Vampire D. So this game is sort of like Dishonor and a little bit like fascinating, Fallout, a little bit and horrible. Best get moving while the sun is still shining. Let's take so many. Apparently, Red Falls not done with me yet. Chocolate material for another book. If I survive. If I survive. Um, Layla was actually fun to play. Um, oh dear. Cause it's the captain. Telekinesis. He was quite brave to try and get us off this island. So they were trying ah, to get off the island. Useful out in the field. All right, let's go get this med kit. So if anybody played the Dishonored games, it's sort of like that and a little bit of a mixture between Fallout because the way how the shooting is and the way how the loot is and stuff like that. So what are these things? These are like supplies or like you get like points for them, which is pretty cool. So you want to collect all that. You have these points where you sort of collect them. Because I see like these are the crew and there's stuff that you can read and stuff like over here. Case of emergency. So this is like people who actually uh kinda kinda got eight by the vampires. So I can't get access to that. So this game is play however you want to play. So you basically can play it many different ways that's what a lot of people kind of don't understand when they've been playing these types of games when i first played it i was like i didn't know what i was doing um because a lot of people there's not a lot of guys this game just came out so that's barricade over there so we gotta go down here why is this water like that 
poor people trying to escape. I right, guess somebody it's in the pool right here. It's simple cruelty. Sounds like he's some type of doctor. I like his voice too. Pretty cool. Um, look at all this, man. I was like, yo, this game's Several crazy. thousand liters of seawater shooting straight up into the sky. This is more interesting. Yeah, that is some supernatural awesome stuff. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what else is there. There's a person right here. There's a handgun. Clutch I have a be needing this. Take that. Kind of see like the cards and stuff. Now, a lot of people, I don't know, I haven't played co-op with anybody to see what's going on. Okay, you gotta break that. And I'll tell you that, yeah, punch and break stuff. To see red fall for the first time. You can see, like, the sun is being blocked out. I killed the sun. I broke this the dawn. Is mad. We're not supposed to be getting an eclipse for months. Exactly. <laughs> this is mad. Alright, we're gonna go over here. And uh check these boxes. Ritualized clothing, markings, clear signs of the cult. Could yeah. sneak around. He's very <laughs> smart. So these are Hollow Man Cope. The new gods of this shitty world. <laughs> so come on out. Don't fight us. Like, don't fight us. Let me move that right there. A dried up bag of skin. You. Your kids. Your parents. Alright, just sneak around them. We don't have to, have to fight them. Oh, this is blood. So this blood mist is sort of like, um, you can't go there and you get damage. Hollow men are sort of like the uh, cultists, sort of like the raiders, as warning people from their homes to basically get bit by vampires. So this is sort of like a post, sort of like a, I want to say kind of like a post-apocalypse vampire taking over like a big town. And so I'm guessing it's warning the survivors to basically get fed on the vampires because there's different types of vampires in this game. Alright, let's go up here. Please, someone needs help. All right. Better get over there. Good. Break that. Sneak attack. Just a scratch. See, my only gripe about this game is you can't pick up the weapons, but you can pick up like the supplies and stuff. So let me go here. Here, press the D-pad. All right. So we're in Redfall. We don't know what's going on. We just about almost got ate by a vampire, and then it's a sun. It's a vampire called the Black Sun. 
Basically, she evil and she bled out red Almost fall. at the station. Which the, is a small a town in the middle, I'm guessing, sort of like the ocean. Not really on the ocean, but somewhere in the middle of maybe an island town. Who knows? But it's pretty cool. So we're going to go through here. Come on. You got to check the ferry next. I saw some people sneak on it. Idiots. There's no way out of this. Yeah, no talk. So they're giving these cultists blood for humans in the service, basically serving these vampires. This is a vampire hunting game. That's why you get, like, when you basically slay humans, um, when you slay humans, you get less XP. But when you slay vampires, you get, you get more XP. What's over here? We're gonna kind of like explore stuff. Take some of this handgun. Um, very fun. Just like play the way uh, you want to play. And this is how I play. So you can enter in two ways, you can enter by the door or you can go up top. You know, I'm going to go up top and be like a boss. Alright, go ahead. Just like this honor, guys. Um, you can hear that's the Hollow Man. So there's multiple vampires that have different sectors in Redfall. Um, a lot of people don't know when you basically play this game, follow the blood trail and now I'll lead you into certain places and stuff where the vampires where you need to go so there's like little stuff like little notes you can find so we can go up here and see what's up here I'm gonna go on the roof see what's in here just like this on there You don't know what you're missing. Hey, if you come out, we'll show you. Got that. Got that. Hello? Anyone about? Jess. Hello? We're in here. Are you... Are the cultists still around? I can't open this door until they're gone. Or dead. Dead would be better. They cut the power on us. We've got wounded... All right. They got a blood sucker in the basement. A blood sucker <laughs> vampire um so in this game um you kind of will have to cut the power on for redfall because a lot of these buildings the vampires kind of cut the power because it kind of makes sense because they need to be in the dark um because the humans can't use uva lights against them or any type of power so that's why they did that so in certain redfall locations and stuff like that um you're gonna have to cut the power on buildings and stuff and you're gonna have to slay you gotta slay all the enemies in the area you want to turn your light by pressing the right d-pad like that and follow the blood um find where you need to go because i was confused when i was did that but they need some type of thing where they're gonna update it so you can know where you need to go because not a lot of people don't know to follow the blood so here's a shotgun with a stake and you see this vampire is feasting on this body so we're gonna just try to slay him first half Um, they'll kind of move, but they'll like, when they get all together, they become real dangerous. Oh, at this rate, I'll never get the footage I'll need. Okay, I just leveled up. Oh, he's got an arc javelin. Oh, so he can electrify most monsters. Redfall. Okay, cool. 
So in Redfall, you have these skills. These are skills that you can build your character up to. He's got different ones. As we go down through the storyline, you will get these are passive skills that you can get. And these are the main skills. So this one might have got high voltage. This one's got shocking lance. It's got a shakedown. I'm just going to pick uh, one that's uh, good for me. Um, but there's a lot of stuff you can unlock. You're going to start getting like lots of loot in this game. So we, we killed the vampire. We haven't like really... Um, dealt with the cultists yet. So, and we got cut on the power. So, let's do that real quick. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. So, okay, there's these things called rewiring kits. And again, basically, there's rewiring kits and lockpicks. Uh, lockpicks allows you to basically, uh, uh, you can try and go through their stuff. <laughs> lockpicks allows you to open doors and stuff, and it can open, like, uh, certain stuff. So you kind of hear the storyline for the uh, game. Basically, there's notes on the ground. Um, you'll find, you can, they'll tell you a storyline for that. So this guy is the Hollow Man. Um, you see him broadcasting on everything. He's a vampire. Let's take your shotguns and uh, make sure you loot the area before you uh, start finding some stuff. See if any more hollow men or actually cultists there. I think I can go back up there and talk to him and turn the power on. Yeah. Are the cultists gone? Yep. Save to come out now, friends. Buggers made a mess of things, so do watch your step. All right, we get XP. And it's going to explain everything right here. So these are the civilians and stuff. Kind of like Dishonor, it, it just it just shows you the pictures of like what's going on. There's no voice acting. It's just like showing like how they're rebuilding and how they're cleaning up stuff. That type of thing. So this fire station is sort of like your main base. Alright. So they're setting up EVA lights to basically come back to vampires. Hmm. Here we are, Diviners, on Redfall, Massachusetts. Diviners. Let's make the best of things. Such as they are, greet the locals. So he's sort of like this, I'm guessing sort of like a scientist type dude. see if there's anything see a lot of people when they see these games are like oh can I pick up this can I pick up that um you know that's what they see but anyway I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna basically end this video and we're gonna do a, another video in a minute um peace please like and subscribe if you want to see some more Redfall